It is the Rockin' Comedy Show. We are back live. A little uh, George Thorogood on the show making us rock out today. We are now joined by Manny Hine, everybody. Yeah. Manny. He's back. How was your, uh, you got to get up on that thing, remember? <laughs> it is. Uh, how, was your, uh, how was your show at uh, Boulder City? Boulder City show went good. A um, little bit light turnout for the 7 o'clock clean show. But besides that, it was, it was fun. Nice. John Stringer was the headliner. Hilarious guy. Yeah, he's very funny. Uh, you saw him? I've seen him before. Oh, okay, yeah. He's been on the show because everybody that's cool is on the show. Oh, right on. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that True. doesn't suck. True. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it, it, it went good. The second show was better. Yeah, the dirty show, more people showed up for. But um, trying to get more people to show up for the clean show, though, because. Uh, Gotta so, move that a little closer to your mouth. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Good. That's fine. <laughs> Lift that bad boy up. Oh, okay, gotcha. There you go. It's like a transformer. Like a <laughs> there you go. Uh, so that's cool. And then tomorrow you're at uh, Sapphire. Yeah, tomorrow Sapphire is at 8 o'clock um, featuring there. I'm not sure who the headliner is. I think Paul Scally. Okay. So that's not an open mic. That's an actual yeah. featured show. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I was thinking about stopping in there. With strippers. Yeah. That's what I was stopping in there for. <laughs> strippers. Yeah. Application. <laughs> yeah, that application. No, I want to see Cur Philip Pareto. Currently hiring. Private. He's still doing the... He, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I've done that show once. It's fun. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I did the open mic. Cool. It was funny. Like, the way that they do it, I want to say Saturday is the open mic show over there. So, like, I think, depending on how many people you bring with you, like, for every person, you get a minute and a half. Uh -huh. And then for, like, whatever, however many drinks they buy, you get, like, another minute and a half. It's like, you just build up this whole... I was up there for an hour. Uh. <laughs> I had no idea I had that many people that liked me. It was like, awesome. uh, you want to get down? You've been up there three days. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But uh, it is the uh, Rock and Comedy Show. Is your monitor on? It is. You need to turn it off. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the best at Craigslist are surprises, and you can't just walk right into them. It's the last button on the... There we go. Okay. So, yes, let's do it. It is now time for the best yeah. of Craigslist. Got a Hawaiian beach house, but it's made out of Legos. Got a 22 kind of sail. Looks like an avocado Bitch and child's looking for a place to live Might need a little filler World's most uncomfortable chair But the paint job's really killer It's the best of Craigslist It's the best of Craigslist On the rockin' comedy show Comedy show Crazy Jeez. Jay with you. We are live and we are hey, having fun trying to keep Gizmo out of the studio. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> oh, that was, that's it. <laughs> such, a, such a distraction. Like, under there. I just... Come here, carpet muncher. He's got a. Yeah, he's. <laughs> He's trying to eat cords today, so he's not allowed in. He's being punished. Give it up for Jason Alpin for interrupting the show, everybody. Yay! What's going on? Yeah, that's your mic right there. That's the oh, one you use. <laughs> anyway, it is uh, the Rock and Comedy Show. It is time for the best of Craigslist. From New York, it is titled, I Hate Peeing When I've Got a Boner. 
Preach on. Again, I just want to point out I don't write these. Yeah. I just spend my day <laughs> finding them. <laughs> It really sucks peeing when you've got a boner, especially at four in the morning when you can't really think straight. Luckily, this has happened before, so I had the presence of mind on the occasion to sit down to pee instead. Why don't you just piss in the shower? Mm. That's easier to do. <laughs> uh, anyway, trying to aim an arc of urine f- uh, from far away over the... Uh We must all efficiently operationalize our strategy. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I don't know why that started playing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. It, it is a. Uh, See, the presence of mind on this occasion to sit down to pee instead of trying to aim an arc of urine from far away over the bath mat and into the toilet bowl. This method causes major splashback and results in lots of piss ending up on the floor. Unless you're a horrible pisser. Uh, Toilet seat back and sometimes shower curtain and or mirror and or my face. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like this is what he's into. Yeah, yeah, he he apparently likes bubbling. We learned about that on Monday. (laughs) <laughs> oh, God. I'm always afraid. <laughs> but it's a delicate act peeing with a boner, even while sitting down. It's painful, really painful, to force your engorged member underneath the rim, where it brushes <laughs> against the inside of the bowl, which is cold and revolting. <laughs> <laughs> and then having to lean way over so that the damn thing points down instead of str- like I said piss in the shower well, piss in the shower yeah, yeah. that's the easiest solution yeah. but if, or yeah. start tucking before you sit down yeah. don't sit down and then tuck why am tuck I the early. only one why am I the only one that's like why don't you just stroke it already it's like beat off and pee because yeah, you, 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 you can if you gotta yeah. pee yeah. you gotta yeah. pee you gotta I don't, pee I don't have an Audi uh, I know so. you don't that's why we're explaining I'm totally at a loss here <laughs> that's why we're explaining if you gotta never pee never heard you of it it's called an Audi <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm learning uh, this stuff again. That's right. We try to teach here. Stick by Valley me, Show. kid. <laughs> uh, and then having to lay a lean way over so that the damn thing points down instead of straight out where it almost always manages to shoot out between the rim and the seat. Which <laughs> results in pee on your leg, <laughs> underwear, floor, and possibly the door or the wall. Who is this guy? Yeah, the worst I, it's in the not world. that complicated yeah. to pee with the, a boner. It's, well, what, it's like, what's the advertisement now? Like, what is the advertising? Yeah. Some, His sometimes, troubles? Sometimes it, you're riding on Craigslist that you're a retard. <laughs> sometimes in midstream it will get the better of you. It's surprisingly spring contraption. You think it's resting safely and securely so you decide to risk reaching over for some toilet paper and BAM! Why do you need toilet paper? You're peeing. It <laughs> pops out from... Well, he's, he's probably... He dabs it so he doesn't get it in his underwear. It, uh, it's a dripper. It pops out from uh, your firm hold and relinquishes a torrent of pee on your hands and anything else in its line of sight, which usually includes your face, chest, towels, pets. <laughs> this guy has a steady stream, too, right? <laughs> He's like a fucking sprinkler in that bathroom. He's He's just, yeah, he, instead of peeing in the shower, he just needs to go on the front lawn. Yeah, <laughs> and he needs a buddy when he goes. Apparently, he needs his, his cat to watch him when he pees. And even then. Even then, if you've accomplished all of this, you will not be able to pee in a normal, free-flowing stream. You'll have to pee in short, girly little bursts because it refers, it refuses to come out in a steady fashion for some reason. You, my friend, need to go see a doctor. I take offense to the short, curly, <laughs> <the> curly bursts. <laughs> uh, How does he know? Well, yeah. Yeah. What makes that girly? Yeah. Yeah, and what? still, what is he advertising? Like, is he blogging on Craig's? <laughs> Eventually, after, say, 10 minutes... <laughs> I hope he's, like, trying to unload a sofa at the end of this. Ten, uh, <laughs> ten minutes to take exactly. a piss with a boner. Uh, eventually, after, say, 10 minutes of leaning over and pointing down, 
alternating between having the tip of your dick either against the toilet bowl or the toilet water pissing and squirts, you're finally done. And after you either congratulate yourself on not having pissed all over yourself and the bathroom, or you wipe all the urine off your hands, face, towels, mirror, shower curtain, walls, cat, and any other place it's probably hit, you give yourself a pat on the back and go back to bed, praying to God that you may never have to pee with a boner again. Walk outside to your backyard, hands free, and just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> if you're that messy of a pisser, I think even peeing in the shower. It sounds like, like it stands straight up. <laughs> like, yeah, straight his, up. yeah, it might be straight up, and it's pissing him in the face. But uh, I mean, so what's a uh, medical condition? Do you have that problem, Jason? It's, it's, you know, it's not fun to pee with a boner, but it's very simple. You just tuck, you hold it there. It doesn't take 10 minutes, I'll say that much. Or you go in the shower. That's obviously yeah, the shower. easiest solution. Right. But, uh, yeah, I, I've never I've never made a pet. Uh, I've given a pet a golden shower. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not my thing, I guess. You know, I've never know. done that on, on accident. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I have an intent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, I, if, I, if I'm peeing on an animal, it's, it's, it's <laughs> intentional. Purpose. It knows it's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch it's out. Intentional and it's sensual. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that one is called I Hate... With a bone. So wait, what was the advertisement? Just there's a he's just a blob. Oh, it's just a blob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Respect. It was like a public safety announcement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can turn the monitor on and read this one. I think it's gonna be great. You want me to read it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why do I get this one? You just read it. <laughs> you'll know why after you read it. All right. Are you bad in the sack? Yes. Wait. I mean, go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're reading. Craig, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I just saw you asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> you're talking about me. Hello. Have you met me? Um, I am now going to approach dating in a scientific manner. So far, my dating exploits have included men who claim to be the best in bed. Unfortunately, I found that men who think they are good in bed are good at getting right to their own orgasms and biting things that should never even be tongued, like the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm all about finishing She is first. such a prude. Mm. Like, be adventurous. <laughs> Try it twice to make sure you didn't like it the first time. <laughs> so I am looking for guys who admit they are bad in the sack. This is the Michael Jackson approach to dating where bad is the new good. You say you can make me come five times in an hour. Not interested. You say your dick is more on target for the G-spot than the Olympic archery team? Wait, she's not interested in a yeah. guy that can make, make her come, come five, five times. times. An hour. I'm, yeah. I'm assuming that guy's full of shit. <laughs> yeah. Or come. <laughs> <laughs> not at the end of that. Uh, so no can do on the Olympic archery team either. Um, and you say your tongue is more powerful than a plug-in vibrator? Sorry, buddy. Um, you I you want you to send me all of those. <laughs> I want her to send me all of those applicants. <laughs> all right. I want the guy who needs at least two girls to get a boner. I need the guy who doesn't know how to put the condom on. I'd like the guy who thinks the G-spot is a club on Sunset. <laughs> I'm going to date the guy who It's actu- not. <laughs> I think I've been there. I think it's a gay lesbian club. Yeah, that's... Welcome to the G-spot. How ironic. <laughs> We're cleaning it up, I swear. We're cleaning it up, like downtown. <laughs> Welcome to the G-spot. I'm going to date the guy who actually thinks that the ears are two more inputs. Okay. An added bonus would be if you like indie rock on Electro Clash. But I'll venture to guess that the guy who knows he's bad in bed is waiting for a slaughter reunion tour. And that's the guy I want to date. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. More power for you. More power to you, girlfriend. So, so. It is. Hello. Got her fierce musician in the house. That's right. Uh, Let's do it. He's even wearing a hat. We're part a red, of the hat club. Red solo cup. <laughs> Apparently, uh, oh, I, I you, you, you guys didn't get the memo. Yeah, you didn't get the memo. God, I would never cover up this beautiful hair. Well, he used to cover up my horns. Yeah, uh, our awesome. next one from Milwaukee. Need a light-haired woman under 40 years old to resolve an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what it yeah. says. Well, I mean, which which part has well, to be light hair? Well, let's find out. Subject will need to be female, reliable self-starter, under 40 years of age, living in or near the West Bend area, currently beardless. <laughs> 
Why? <laughs> Why do you have to mention that? that? <laughs> How many? You're out. <laughs> a- able to prove that they are shaving three times a week for the duration of three months through video, photo evidence, or eyewitness accounts. Oh, this sounds really scientific. Subjects wow. applying for this part-time position should be fair-skinned and have lighter hair color in order to facilitate accurate measurement of post-shaving hair thickness and darkness. At the end of the three-month test period, the subject will receive $195. That's $5 per shaving session. Oh, wow. All materials necessary for shaving will be provided by brother-in-law who thinks you will develop a beard. I, along with the entire medical and scientific community, think you will not develop a beard and will be able to and will be able to uh, supply the paycheck. So. Serious inquiries only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, That's, actually. Like, you know, this kind of stuff, because the random bets or shit you come up with, like, your friends. Right. Like, I, I'm all for this. Okay, that's a night of Wicked awesome. Tango drinking right there. I, the only time I wish I was a northern Italian woman with a beard. <laughs> I don't, I, would, well, would you grow a beard if you did it? For scientific purposes, I might. No, I mean, if, for I, like, if, you, if, you, if you shaved your face three times. Three times a day. You think eventually you're going to grow a beard? Look, I believe in everything and nothing. Okay? That's my religion. I believe in everything and nothing. And my motto is, you can't prove I'm wrong. <laughs> nice. Typical girl. <laughs> in other words, I will not lose an argument. Yeah. Well, our, our, last, uh, our last Craigslist of the day is definitely the winner of yes. the day. It is Yay. positively the best one. That's right. Uh... Toronto, the girl that loves toast. (laughs) I'm looking for that special someone who will share my passion for toast. All kinds of toast. White toast, whole wheat toast, rye toast, toasted bagels, and when I'm feeling wild and crazy, a Pop-Tart. But not French toast? To to me, toast is the ultimate turn-on. There is nothing like a man who smells like toast. I picture us sitting on a couch in front of my 60 60. toasters, (laughs) getting nice and toasty, (laughs) (laughs) sipping brandy from glasses with croutons floating in them, (laughs) talking endlessly about the splendors of toast. (laughs) That's alcohol abuse. (laughs) Perhaps one day you will ask me to spread butter and jam on your body or cream cheese. I'm not particular. Are you that special man? <laughs> you are particular, clearly. I'm not toast. Um, this little girl would love to have a stroke because I hear you smell toast when that happens. So it seems like a victory. I mean, I like food as much as, like, more than the next girl, but toast. But not as much as this girl. Toast. I mean, seriously, toast? There's only one person in this world that I know that really likes toast that much, and that's Haywood Banks. All around the country, coast to coast. Huh. People always say, what do you like most? Now, I don't want to brag. I don't want to boast. <laughs> I always tell them I like toast. Yeah, toast. Yeah, toast. When prehistoric guys first drove from the drags, they didn't know what would go with the bacon in the end. Must have been an Einstein who got in his head and Plug the toaster in the wall, go buy a bag of bread, make toast. Yeah, toast. Yeah, toast. Well, I get up in the morning about 6 a.m., have a little jelly, have a little jam. Take a piece of bread, put it in the slot. Push down the lever and the wires get hot. I get toast. Yeah, toast. Yeah, toast. Yeah, toast. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. That's her man, Haywood Banks. If he can write a song about toast, yeah, he loves it just as much as she does. So we'll have more bets of Craigslist tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> they get better and better every day. Studio is full. We've got Manny Hine here. Yeah. So, 
Jason Alvin is here. Yay! And Jesse Pino, ladies and gents. Can you believe it? He's made it. Ah, finally. 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 So much to talk about since the last time you were on. Yeah. I, I didn't know that you were a martial arts expert. Um, There's no way. Look how little you are. There's yeah, no you, way that, that that's happens. Exactly. So let's talk about that. What kind of a martial arts <laughs> expert are you? Um, and then would you beat the shit out of uh, Manny Hine just so we can believe? Right, well, let's just it. let's fight. Let's do it on the webcam. <laughs> just, I also cry. See, I mean, like <laughs> if we're gonna fight. I'm not even gonna play fair. You know what I mean? So, no. Nah, um, uh, I do a traditional Taekwondo, Sangam Taekwondo, under the ATA, the American Taekwondo Association. And how so, long have you been doing that? Since I came out of the womb, dude. Pretty much. Uh -huh. No, I, I, like, <laughs> I came out, you know, cut the cord off. I was like, screw this. Ah. No, you <laughs> fucking karate yeah. chopped it. Yeah. I chopped it. <laughs> um, no, I've been, uh, I've, I started when I was eight, and uh, I've been doing it for about uh, 21 years now. Oh, wow. Something like that. Oh, yeah, awesome. So, so you're pretty badass. You know, I mean, I, if I say, uh, you know, if I say I'm Like, pretty, you could probably throw a weapon, we wouldn't even see it coming. He could maybe, do a battering. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I just I just like to be good towards people, man. People need to be good people. I would I definitely like let you walk me down a dark yeah, alley. Yeah, he's not just going to walk up and give you a boot to the head, but, you know. Can you walk me in my car after this? Okay. Yes, yes. If anybody needs somebody to walk into their car, I'm your man. <laughs> when people find out, do they laugh? Like, you know, you know, sometimes, I don't know, like, it was the other day somebody just said, uh, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't that. It was today. I saw my drummer today, and I met his boss, and his boss was like, you don't look like a like a martial artist, and I just kind of like gave him a wink. I'm like, dude, that's exactly that's exactly the response I love, you know, because you're like, oh, this little dude. I'm gonna take him. You know? I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it, no. Usually, people are like think it's really cool. Like I do martial arts. Like show me something. I was like, ah, oh, I don't really, you know. Like come on, you know. But uh, I, I don't know. Like most of the time, people people think it's pretty cool. Um, I'll throw like a little kick or something like that. A like, little I kicked kick. A, I kicked a pen out of my friend's mouth the other day. <laughs> Can you do this? Just a little kick. A little, it's a little jump spin kick out of my friend's mouth. <laughs> Didn't hit him. <laughs> yeah. All I want to know is, can you do the splits like... Um Oh, like John Claude Van Damme. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't do the middle splits like him. That's really hard. <laughs> That's what does it for me. <laughs> oh, it? I can do the left and right leg. He's splits. like, well, then let me just try. Well, <clears throat> if you give me, let me warm up. For you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that. And then you, uh, you, you, you uh, have your own martial arts place. Yeah, I have my own school. Uh, it's Quest ATA Martial Arts. Uh, I own it with my mom and uh, co-owner and. We just moved into a, a new location that's like three times bigger than where we were, um, and we have our grand opening coming up soon, and it's it's keeping me pretty busy. It's Championships you won? Yes, uh, I'm a 2011 Team Sync World Champion uh, under the ATA, which is where like we have a team of three people where you have a, a routine that has like weapons and acrobatics and tricking and stuff synchronized to music, and uh, I'm a world champion under that competition, which Sounds is cool. Like Sounds like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's actually our our performance is on our on YouTube. It's pretty cool to see. And then I have a, a 2010 uh, state championship title for sparring for the fighting. So. I feel like it sounded like you were like this was a hobby, and now he's a world champion. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 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 it went from no, kicking I, pens out of mouths to you know just to. Uh, Winning, yeah, to being a pretty badass dude. You need to, you need to just chill out. No, I was kidding. Uh, I was kidding. <laughs> no. Next time we see him, he's gonna have oh. a tattoo on half his face. Yeah, it's not Mike Tyson. Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna go that far on the face. It's a little too much. I thought that was totally appropriate. <laughs> it's like not too much, not too little. Just I gotta have to right one up there. him though somehow. But, but yeah. So music and martial arts. Those have been the two big things that I've done. My whole life, I'm just blessed. I got two cool things, you know. Some people can't find one. I just found two. He'd be easier. badass in a bar fight, like he has a girl there, and some guy like tries to take his girl. And he's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "What are you gonna do about it?" And then beats the shit out of him. And then yeah. sings her a song. And then sings yeah. Patrick, right? oh. He's like Patrick Swayze. And, yeah. <laughs> yes, Roadhouse. She's like the wind. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh man, there's oh. a new. There's my next music video. That is awesome. <laughs> I have to set that up now. As he's just, as he's just like singing, and he's just like knocking people out. He's like, "We are." <laughs> Did a little song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. that'd be cool. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. I was like, oh, I didn't know that the last time he was here. Yeah. Now he's just kicking ass. You know, I just it's just uh I don't know, I don't really like boast about it too much. 
I should no. Let me rephrase that. I don't boast about martial arts at all. <laughs> I mean, if people ask, then I'll tell them, you know. But I don't walk around like, dude, I do martial arts. I'm, I'm a champion. What up? Like, I don't. All that, like, you know, like UFC. Like, I love to watch MMA and uh, and uh, UFC. But unfortunately, sometimes, you know, like the, the entertainment side of it and these fighters that are, that's kind of like, I would, you know, they're fighter. Being a martial artist to me and being a fighter are like two different things. Because a martial artist yeah. is a fighter, but somebody that knows how to like carry themselves with like a good attitude and like being respectful and humble and fighters aren't like that they just want to fight and look cool and have tattoos and and uh you know try to get in ufc or something so <laughs> and get their legs broken yeah yeah, yeah. seriously broken. but i love but i, dude, I love to watch <laughs> i didn't want to be able to read when i was 60 anyways <laughs> <laughs> i barely read now anyways <laughs> so Shit. i found my career <laughs> it's amazing i like stuttering <laughs> <laughs> I like losing a train of thought in the middle of speech. <laughs> do that, do that stutter voice one more time. <laughs> That's good. Adult diapers. <laughs> oh no. It's oh, good stuff. The career of a boxer. That's what you guys just did right there. No good offense, stuff. Mike Tyson. Thank you. Yeah, that too. No offense. <laughs> no, none He's taken. He's cool now. He doesn't hit girls anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I could totally be cool with him. Oh, none God. taken. <laughs> Awkward. So, well, you should be coaching while I fix a mic problem. See, I see. How I'm am the, I supposed to know? You're supposed to wink. I, I was. I thought you caught up, but then you just think I'm hitting on you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Fake a stroke, and then I'll know that I'm supposed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> then when I have the real stroke, you'll be like, "Oh, I got to talk again." <laughs> She's been talking for an hour now. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like Crazy Jay is taking a nap? Yeah. <laughs> See, all right. What's going on over there? <laughs> but uh, so uh, last time I saw you was at the Nirvana tribute show. Oh, cool. That's right. That's right. What song uh, did you do again? I did. Um, I did something in the way, acoustic version of that, and then I did. Um, all apologies. Yeah, that was, yeah. Really, that was all good. All apologies and something in the way. Good version of all apologies. Oh, thank you. I'm not even gonna pretend that I know what those songs are. You, you uh, will. I was. Would you do all apologies? Uh, yeah, I think I can. I think I can do that. I haven't played it in a while. All right. Well, let's uh, take a quick break, and we'll be back with more from uh, Jesse Pino. And this is in honor of Jesse. <laughs> Approach students. Close the circle at the feet of the master. You have come to me asking that I be your guide along the path of Tai Quan Leap. But 